Hello my friends, I want to show you seven brushes that I created for you and you can download them for free right now. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. So I wanted to create some easy brushes that have use for as many people as possible and the first thing I want to show you is uh, let's create a new pixel layer and you can select the hard brush and you can paint on your canvas on the layer right away. You can see playfully the hearts are fluttering around the path of the brush. And right now it looks a bit flat, two dimensional, like a vector design, which is also cool. But if you want to bring it alive and make it a lot more playful, I would suggest to you that you switch the blend mode of the layer to screen. You can see immediately more intense more playful. Another thing that I want to suggest to you is go to effects, click on the outer glow button and select a similar color to your brush. So in this case, a light pink and then uh, make the radius bigger of the glow. And you can see it looks like a hologram that's floating in the air of these brushes. So really a nice, intense, playful brush. If the glow is a little bit too uh, intense, you can reduce the opacity. And you can use this brush, uh, brush for a lot of uses like the birthdays of friends, the Valentine's Day of your loved uh, one, your girlfriend, or maybe the, your pets, pictures of your pets. So there's a lot of uses for that. And by the way, I'm going to also start to create premium packages of these brushes and they have a lot of uh, variations in them. And what I mean by variations, I want to show you right now. So here we have the hard brush again and now we have a variation that's also included in the free brushes. And you can see right now, these are hearts with heart shapes inside. So it's like a heart inception. It's even more playful and intense. So this is a real nice variation. And, and I will create a lot more variations of those in the premium packages. Okay, let's move on to the next brush. Away from the love brushes, let's go to something magical and that is the star brush. By the way, I want to show you, I want to change my color real quick to blue. So there we go. You can see we have these brushes. I still have the glow on. You can see what a difference it makes. So the glow now is pink, but the brushes uh, the stars are blue, which is also a nice combination. Let's turn off the glow right now and you can see it gets a little bit flatter. We are still in screen blend mode for the layer. And a thing that I would suggest here with this brush, for example, is you can change the size, make them a lot bigger. And so it looks like they are on different positions in the room, in the space where your characters are. So you can create really kind of this three dimensional look in your picture and Another thing I want to suggest with this brush is if you make it really small, you can actually draw with it. You can see here, for example, we can make a heart shape. We can also write letters on our picture so you can actually write words and stuff like that with the hearts. So you can highlight different outlines and shapes uh, with this brush. So this has a lot of different uses, very versatile and at the same time, very playful as you can see here right now within seconds you have a cool look okay let's move on to the next brush and this also comes in two variations so i have a bouquet brush you could also use it as a bubble brush you can see this one is a multi-color brush it changes randomly the color but close to the selected color so in this case because we selected blue it's changing from uh, a pink to a violet color and of course you can see here on the left the blue in the middle between these uh, two colors and if you look closely on uh, the circles of our bouquet they have little variations inside of them so there is they are overlaid with bigger circles that are blended with the brush so it looks more natural and more realistic and I want to give us a suggestion for using this brush too. Uh, head over again to the effects and use Gaussian blur in this case. You can see you can create really beautiful looks like of kind of uh, light 
clouds in your picture overlay this again with the second layer of the bouquet on top of that that's a little bit sharper and you get a really cool look so let's do this real quick again i'm setting it to screen mode let's brush on this and you can see this makes it more um, three-dimensional you get a really interesting intense look for that uh, let's keep the face a little bit cleaner here you can see wow in seconds two strokes the picture looks really interesting and cool okay I will go back to the other layer to show you the other variation of this and this will stay within the color you can see here with the blues um, we have a slight variation in the color of the blue and we have a slight variation or a, a little bit more intense variation in the brightness of the blue so some of them are a little bit brighter some of them are a little bit darker and again like I said you can also use them as bubbles you can use it with different effects with layer blend mode so a lot of creativity in here and now come two brushes that I really like I love to play with them and these are glitch brushes you can see here this is more of a pixelated blocky brush it, in, it instantly starts to look like there is an error with the file it has been corrupted and the brush is actually interacting with itself so the more you brush on top of the brush itself it gets brighter it interacts with the color stuff like that so you can use that and of course you can change the um, the color of the brush anytime you like let's switch this to green it's a multicolor brush um, but still it will well uh, it will uh, have a variation when you change the color let's go back to the blend mode because in this case you can see that the screen blend mode looks cool but it's a little bit too intense and we want to have more of a glitch look so what we are going to do is change it to vivid light and instantly you can see wow this looks actually like a corrupted file has a really interesting kind of look uh, to it and now we're going to use the second brush this is also a glitch brush but it has a finer texture a finer structure to it and I will use it multiple times on the picture just on the right side and then I will show you a, one of my favorite tricks to create a glitched look for a picture in seconds that looks really really cool so here we have this brush now and what we are going to do now is we are clicking up here on the liquefied persona and I will hide the mesh you see I'm using the liquify push forward tool with a rather big size and you just move in here and create some wave movements with your mouse or with your stylus on your graphic tablet and this will move around um, the textures as you can see the picture in the background is staying the same because we just selected the layer and this is okay because we don't want to change the picture in this case and you see that this also gets a little bit of a 3d look uh, to this distortion so you can use this to create really cool for example party invites posters music covers there's a lot of different uses you can of course um, reduce the opacity if the effect should be too intense and I would very much suggest that you play around with the different blend modes see what you get from them or even try to blend different of these um, glitch brushes together for example we can do a second one let's set it also to vivid light use the other brush I have to go back to my brush tool paint on here and you can see this is getting more and more intense and really interesting as a brush structure let's play around with this a little bit uh, pin light you can also use screen again or color dodge so you can do some really cool stuff in seconds with these brushes okay so that was a, a short tutorial on the brushes like I said you can download them for free right now no strings attached but if you want to support me as a patron on my channel I do video tutorials on YouTube over 120 tutorials so far you will get packs every month for free and these are not just brush packs I will create macros I will create mock-ups I will create presets and other interesting files resources that you can use and 
as a patron of course you get them as a reward and this will be cheaper than buying them individually as premium packs so think about that head over to my uh, patreon site check it out thank you for watching see you in the next video bye